Hi, look at what a customer brought in today. Not only does it look odd, listen to what it sounds like. In today's video, I'll share with you how I'll deal with this rattling racket. All right, let's go inside. All right, so before we get started and before we get to that rattling racket, I did want to show you what a typical racket looks like, uh, specifically the butt cap. And most of these rackets have a trap door. So what you want to typically do when you have a rattling racket like that, uh, that's caused by drill flash, which is the uh, debris that comes from when the manufacturer drills the holes. And there might be a little bit leftover debris from when that was drilled. The manufacturers try to remove that as much as possible, but sometimes there might be a little piece of um, um, the drill flash, or it could be a little piece of grommet um, that could get stuck in there and then cause that rattling sound. I just did want to mention though, when you do take off the butt cap from the trap door, uh, you want to pay attention to when you take it off. So let's say if it's a rinse racket, uh, just, just make note that um, you'll see that hole over there. That's where you pry it open. Make sure that you remember that the butt cap is up and it's on the uh, top of the P uh, because you always want to rem um, not only remove it, but make sure that you put it back where it, how it was uh, installed. So uh, in most cases, when you have a rattling racket like that, you want to just try to shake it out. Uh, and um, I'll show you with the actual racket that I'll be working on today, but typically that's what you're going to do. So uh, when you replace the butt cap back on, you want to just make sure it's in the proper uh, alignment. So like the head one, uh, in this particular frame, you can see that the uh, hole is at the top of the logo also. And then I just noticed on the Yonex and this Babylon racket, you'll notice that the hole is actually where you pry up the uh, trap door is on the bottom of the logo. So just pay attention to that when you take off the trap door. All right, so let's get into the rattling racket. All right, so before we get into this racket that I showed you earlier, if you notice, it was definitely modified by the customer. So I'll bring it up again so you can actually see it. You'll notice that um, it basically was extended and it doesn't even have the stock butt cap anymore. So I didn't really ask him in detail what he did, but basically the racket is longer. So normally it's 27 inches. Uh, it's now 27 and three quarter inches. So uh, I got an extended length of uh, three quarters of an inch. Uh, the racket itself feels pretty heavy now. And as I, met, as I showed you earlier, it does have that rattle. Now I did mention that most rackets that have that kind of rattle is caused by drill flash. Uh, it could be also a racket that didn't have that from the beginning, but it might be a grommet that got uh, broken and then it got stuck in the, uh, the cavity of the frame since it's hollow. And again, you can easily uh, remove that by taking off the trap door and the butt cap. But again, there's no butt cap on this one. So. What I'm, gonna, what I'm gonna attempt to do, and I didn't even tell the customer this, is I'm gonna try and remove that. Um, but I'm thinking it might be difficult in this case because I think part of the uh, uh, debris that's in there was caused by when he modified the racket himself. So, but I'll go ahead and try and I'll show you what you could do if uh, you cannot remove the trap door or if your racket doesn't have one. So. What you're gonna do is you're gonna start off by uh, taking off the grommets, but you have to only take off the sections that uh, there's no tie-offs because as you know, on the tie-offs, the holes are flared and you're gonna have a, a difficult time trying to put that back in. So I wouldn't even mess with that area. So I'm just gonna take off the grommet strip, in this case uh, at around 12 o'clock, I'm sorry, at nine and three, where the tie off is not um, anywhere in that area. So I'll do it on both sides and uh, just leave it on so that um, I can put it back on. I'm not gonna take off the whole grommet strip. So this, this particular racket, it's a Wilson uh, Juice 100. And I'm gonna just go ahead and remove the sides 
I can't take off the bumper guard because again, there's tie offs in there. So I'm not gonna even deal with that. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take off the throat piece too because I just wanna make sure that those de the debris in there has as much opportunity to fall out of there. Now I generally like to work on a white table. Uh, I, I, I have this tablecloth, which is not white, but, um, and the reason for that is that when you're shaking out the debris, I like to kind of see what's actually coming out. So if you have a light table, um, colored table, or in this case, I put a tablecloth down, uh, that would be good just to see if there's stuff coming out. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and try and shake as much of this debris out and hopefully we'll see some come out during this video. But again, some of this, uh, oh, there's one that came out right there. So there's a piece right there. I'm thinking that might be a piece of epoxy or something, but that was a pretty big chunk. So uh, yeah, I'm not sure how much is gonna come out in this process. Well, one just fell on the floor, but uh, but yeah, I'll just go ahead and keep doing this and uh, I'll come back to you because I have a feeling this is gonna take a while and I'll time myself to see how long I spent doing this. All right, so I completed the job in four minutes, which I was kind of surprised because I thought that this would take much longer. So uh, you can hear it. There's, well, you can't hear it. There's nothing rattling anymore, so that's good. And all I did really was tap it and uh, it came out through the side of the frame. And I did flip it over at one point just to make sure I catch both sides. Uh, nothing came out of the throat piece area. So uh, yeah, it all came out and the chunks are pretty big. So I'll provide a picture so you can see what, what the, it looked like. Uh, there have been frames in the past where I've worked on and uh, the debris might end up lining itself right by the hole and I'll try and bring this up closer and kind of explain what would happen if that would. So sometimes the debris might end up right by uh, a hole or in a hole and it just doesn't want to come out as much as I would shake it. So if I see that, then what I'll do is get the awl, try to push down in that debris and then try to push it through the other side and uh, you know, that, that's a little time consuming and a little frustrating sometimes because it gets really close and it just slips out and it just doesn't come through. So uh, that would be, that would have been my last resort, but I didn't have to use that in this particular frame. So I'm happy that I got the rattle out of this racket. Uh, I'm, go I'm gonna go ahead and string it up and I'll, I'll come back to you. All right, so here's the finished product, my customer John's racket. When he picks it up, I'm not gonna tell him. I wanna see if he can actually hear the difference. Thanks for watching. Play with Aloha. And let your strings play.